Listen, children, I have some really good news to share with you. By flying from Muscat, which is the capital of Oman, to Ahmedabad in India, Solar Impulse has set a new world record, that of the longest distance ever flown to date by a plane on natural energy, 1,465 kilometers, 915 miles. To get a better idea of how a solar-powered plane is flying around the world, what would you say about a visit to the cockpit? Oh, yes, oh, yes please, please, maestro. maestro. Let's, let's see the, the cockpit. cockpit. Let's see the cockpit. Okay, let's see the cockpit. Boy, this is so small. That's right, Jumbo. There's only room for one person in this cockpit. And all the necessary equipment to be able to fly for several days fits into just four cubic meters. 140 cubic feet. But the good thing about this layout is that the pilot has all the controls very close to hand. Tell us, Maestro. We sometimes see the pilot wearing an oxygen mask, but I don't put one on when I fly. It's because the cockpit isn't pressurized like on a typical plane. Pressurization allows us to breathe normally when we're flying at high altitude where oxygen levels are lower, but the equipment was too heavy to be loaded on solar impulse. So, when the plane gets to above 3,500 meters, 11,500 feet, two miles, our explorers wear a mask that is connected to a simple bottle of oxygen. Incidentally, do you know who invented the principle of pressurization? It was, in fact, Auguste Picard, Bertrand's grandfather. He worked it out right in the airtight capsule attached to his gas balloon in 1931, and then flew at an altitude of more than 15,000 meters, more than 49,000 feet, more than nine miles. He would not have been able to go so high without such pressurization. Uh, I, I can't. 9,000 meters. You'd better insert oxygen to, to increase the pressure. Turn to 2015. Without a mask, Bertrand and André would start to hallucinate and even lose consciousness because of insufficient oxygen in their bodies. My goodness, I'm even starting to see things with all these buttons. Am I seeing double or what? No, no, rest assured, Grumo, everything is fine. In fact, many of the control buttons have a backup just in case the first one stops working. And look there, you can see four levers to the left of the seat, one for each engine. And even though they are excellent pilots, both Bertrand and André have had to learn to fly Solar Impulse. And to do that, they have completed many test flights. Well, haven't they got a screen where they can play games when they're bored? No. Oh, they are just navigational controls. These allow the pilot to be certain everything with the plane is working perfectly. They also give information about the flight path, the weather. Although it does not have a typical autopilot system, Solar Impulse is equipped with a Stability Augmentation System, or SAS, which can control the flight for about 20 minutes. Enough time for a quick nap, for example. So, if the plane descends too sharply or flies too low, the armbands, which form part of the pilot's jumpsuit, vibrate. Well, that would really annoy me if I were woken up like that. Why change the habit of a lifetime, Grumo? Talking of naps, the pilots sit lying down or sat down. And how do they eat when they're flying? What about when they need a pee? Do they just open a window? All right, all right, one at a time, please. I promise I will answer all your questions. But that will be next time.